Anyway, what are we, are we talking about helmets yet? We have not talked about helmets, which is another bullshit decision made by this group of individuals here that we've been talking about for the last. Uh, there you go. This one. This is uh, Vettel's one and only helmet for the year, I guess. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> one second. We're looking at uh, Tobias Gruner's uh, Twitter here. He's got the, uh, I assume, um, Vettel put this out. But for whatever reason, I don't think anybody asked for this. Nobody. Think, nobody did. I don't think anybody was concerned. I don't think anybody wants it. They've now decided one helmet per dude per year. <laughs> or a woman, if you're a I'm looking at a, at a tweet now put it by uh, fake Charlie Whiting. Yeah. <laughs> I've... I've <laughs> I've recommended this dude before. I don't know who he is, but he's hilarious. Big Charlie uh, Whiting on Twitter. Yeah, fa- yeah. It's called at Char- it's at Charlie underscore Whiting on Twitter. If you want to follow him, but he just put out this tweet uh, seven hours ago saying, "Congratulations to the hashtag F1 Commission on the groundbreaking advancement in cost control. One helmet designed per driver really moved the needle. You know what? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not true. Like- it's like this 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 decision. Like, if anything, it deserves satire." Cause there, what? Yeah, well, so Vettel, this is Vettel's helmet. He's the guy. He's had somewhere with it around sixty to seventy helmets per year. Some, but he's sometimes been the multiple only helmets per weekend. Yeah, but he's been the only one because most drivers are happy with just the warm helmet design, and I think that's yeah. I think he he probably has a buddy that he went to college with or something that's a airbrush or something that makes. I don't know who makes his helmets really, but I don't think anything's <coughs> wrong with it. They've been doing, <laughs> over the years, there's uh, charity auctions for race yep. helmets, which the money goes to help charity. There's, uh, I don't know, man. The, uh, the main argument against this is for the reduction of confusion. What? Which, who's getting confused? Yeah, but who's getting, exactly. For the less hardcore fans, I guess, but I don't think you need to be that hardcore. You have to maybe know the number one and number two driver to see who's got the yellow, the yellow, whatever the bulkhead, the, the camera, the, the camera the mount thing. on top of the, yeah, yeah, they got the yellow and black, but I don't know. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. No, this is a pointless decision. Um, and I mean, remember how in, um, uh, for Monaco, most drivers, even if they're not Sebastian Vettel, they, they would change the, their helmet design. Yeah, I just, think that's, just, that's the main charity race, I believe, yeah. that they all... Just, just, to, just to do a, a one-off Monaco. And it's because it's special for them. You know, Monaco special. Grand Prix is always special. And, and why not commemorate a special occasion with a special helmet if you want to? If you don't want to... Like, why, why How should, much does a helmet cost yeah. anyway? I mean, it's a couple hundred bucks. And I'm why should almost that? certain that's coming out of, Vettel, in Vettel's case, his pocket. Yeah. He's, well, maybe. He's, I'm sure he's holding on. Maybe somebody's jealous. Like, I'm sure he's holding on to these helmets. And once he retires, he's going to have a lot of eBay auctions going on. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe not for charity, for his retirement <laughs> fund. But That's a res- his retirement fund. Some I don't know, man. Most collect bottles that he collects. <laughs> yeah, I don't helmets. know. Most of these guys have a somewhat recognizable helmet that they keep. Like, a lot, everyone knows Alonso's got the baby blue. And like you said, this is kind of a throwback to uh, Schumacher, maybe, when he was in his Ferrari days. The white helmet. But why should he be stuck with that? Mm-hmm. Especially, and it wasn't. It was actually not even Vettel going into the night races and Abu Dhabi with the sunset right. race. Dudes had uh, glitter, reflective, and LED the helmets. glow in the dark huh? glow helmet. In the, yeah, with uh, sparkles on it. I think it was Vettel had LEDs in his, didn't he? Or was that? Yeah, maybe no, was? Vettel, Vettel had had like LED light bulbs in it. Yeah, yeah um, Ricciardo had a crazy one last year. I think at Abu Dhabi for the night races. Yeah. Why not? Who made this decision? Yeah, this Al- Alonso. In, Alonso, known for basically keeping his uh, his helmet pattern basically the same, for, like even from back uh, in his lower Formula days, he he has so made a special thing. edition What's... like golden helmet for Monaco, for example. You know, just just because. Yeah, I think he probably auctioned it off. Yeah, well, gave the money to charity. Yeah, well, yeah. Why why would you why would you g- g- like? Get rid of that option. Why would why would you like? Is this over regulation? Yes, which doesn't exactly. That's what I said at the start. Nobody asked for this. Yeah. And the thing is, say Vettel, which who is obviously like collecting helmets and things. Even if he's limited to this design, 
I'm almost 100% certain he's going to have at least 20 of these painted up for the year. Yeah. Wear a different one each weekend, keep them in a box, (laughs) and also sell them. You're like, oh, these ones came from the year where I was stuck with the same design. (laughs) But he's still going to sell them. He's going to have 20 helmets at the end of the year. He's not going to wear the same one every weekend. I totally, totally disagree with this. And I think it goes back to what I was arguing about the uh, itineraries weeks ago, that they're too plain. Like, why? Why limit? Well, the itineraries, I think, are the team. They're whatever. But they've mostly gone to solid colors. I don't know. For the what? Sorry. The itineraries. Vehicle itineraries. Oh, liveries, you mean? Yeah, sorry. Liveries. But I believe that they also, it has, I guess it's too expensive, but they should be able to do whatever they want. Like, uh, people were pissed off that Red Bull showed up in Harass with a camouflage. Yeah. What? Who cares? They got attention to F1, which is what we want. That's right. And it was awesome. 